Hi everybody, welcome to Using Your Graphing Calculator in Math 140. I'm Fred Felden, thanks for watching. In this video, we'll use the graphing calculator to evaluate the derivative of a function for a given value of the variable, and also how to add a tangent line to the graph of a function. Here's the steps. From the Math menu, choose number 8, the numerical derivative command. I'll show you how to type in the command. Then I'll show you how to add a tangent line to the graph of a function. Okay, let's get started. Open the calculator. We're at the home screen. You can see the blinking cursor in the upper left hand corner, right? From the math menu, choose number 8, the numerical derivative command. Inside the parentheses, type the function. Let's say a company's revenue function is r of x equals 45x minus 0.4x squared. Okay, so after you type the function, we need a comma. Now, it may be obvious to us, but we need to tell the calculator what the variable is, so hit the x variable key to tell it that it's x then another comma, then type in the value that you want to evaluate the derivative at. Say in this case, for example, we want to know the rate of change of the revenue when 40 units are sold. So type in 40, close parentheses, and hit enter. There. When 40 units are produced, this company's revenue is increasing at a rate of $13 per unit. Notice the calculator never found the derivative r prime of x. It found r prime of 40. It evaluated the derivative at x equals 40. Big difference. Other devices could in fact find the derivative that have a computer algebra system or CAS like the TI-89 or the TI-INSPIRE. You can use those in our class but most students have a TI-83 or 84, so that's the focus of these videos. Now let's see how to add the tangent line to the graph of a function. Don't forget, finding the derivative of a function always means calculating its instantaneous rate of change, or the slope of the curve. So when we evaluate the derivative, we're finding the slope of the tangent line to the curve at that point. So the reason I want to draw the tangent line is because we get a nice visual of that. Okay, hit F1, Y equals, and type in the function. I've already done that. Now let's hit F2 and find a good viewing window. In business calculus, we typically look just in the first quadrant. Let's try this window. If it's not good, we can always change it. Hit F5, Graph. And there it is. You can see the revenue is increasing up to about 60 units or so, the vertex of the parabola, and then it starts to decline. The derivative is positive on the left-hand side of the vertex where the function's increasing, and negative on the right-hand side where the function's decreasing. Now let's draw our tangent line. Hit second, draw, and choose number five, tangent line. It gives a target where the cursor is located, and you could use the left or the right arrow keys, but we'll never get right at x equals 40. So let's just type it in. 4, 0, and hit enter. There. It positions the cursor on the graph right at x equals 40, draws the tangent line, and displays the equation of the tangent line in slope-intercept form. Pretty cool, huh? Notice the slope, in fact? That's right, it's 13. Just what we said the derivative is. So we get a nice visual of what the derivative is, the instantaneous rate of change, or the slope of the curve at that specific point. To get rid of the equation, hit Graph. To erase the tangent line, go back to the Draw menu, and choose number 1, Clear Draw. 
Now this particular function was fairly simple and straightforward. We could have easily evaluated the derivative at x equals 40 by hand using paper and pencil. Here's the work. But not all functions are this simple or straightforward, so many times this command, the numerical derivative command, will save lots and lots of paper and pencil calculations. Notice we got the same answer all three ways, by hand, using the nderive command, and by drawing the tangent line. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.